So today, I'm gonna to show you guys how you can carve your own wax pendant at home. Follow me to the workshop. wax carving? Yes, I'm sure anyone can do wax carving. Today's project, we're going to be carving a fish hook pendant. So this here is one that I've completed a little while ago and we need to obviously draw our picture of our pendant that we're going to make. So this is the pendant and this is the slice of wax. So I'm going to be putting this onto here and I'm going to transfer the design onto the wax so I've got something to cut out. Okay, time to take the paper off and see what we've got. If you find that outline is not strong enough to see, you can probably redraw it with the black pen just to help you uh, cut it out. First, before cutting this out, I'm going to use some drills. I picked one the right size to fit into this section here. I'm doing it this way just in case you guys don't have micro motors. This is one way you can do it with obviously having limited tools and it's very easy to pick up a set of drills from your hardware store. So let's start cutting around the outline. I'm going to be using a jeweler's saw with a wax saw blade, but you could probably buy a coping saw from the hardware store. Okay, so we've cut this out. It doesn't have to be too exact to the line um, because now we're going to start filing. Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my seat. Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my seat. Oh, keep boy. Day we hustle, but the night we. Oh, keep boy. Know that the ride or die. I'm a oh, keep boy. Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my seat. Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my seat. So, I've got the outline looking pretty good now. I've used the big file and I've used a couple of little files just to clean in some of this harder to get areas that I can't get with this file. Now it's a little too thick so I'm going to like reduce the thickness by just filing it down. So we've taken the thickness away from this one. Now we want to put some shape into it like this one. Oops. <laughs> so what we want to do is basically use the file and put some curves into your pendant design. So the pendant's getting pretty close to finished. 
I want to smooth out the file mark. So what I'm going to do is use some 180 sandpaper and I'll start smoothing out the design. Plus I'll better get it into some of these little harder areas to reach with the file. Um, most of the time I will use one of these or this one here with the sandpaper to smooth it. But if you're doing this project at home with just limited tools, you can use a, a bit of um, sandpaper. I've just folded this in half and I'm just going to do it by hand. My name came up a lot of sounds, more when I was not around. Certain people that I know, they ain't no longer about. My name came up a lot of sounds, more when I was not around. Certain people that I know, they ain't no longer about. My name came up a lot of sounds, more when I was not around. Certain people that I know. So we're about 90% done on this. I want to drill a hole through here and that will run the jump ring through. So all I'm doing is I'm just going to do this by hand. Obviously I can use my little micro motor but I want to do this by hand because not everyone can afford to purchase a micro motor so if you're wanting to follow some of these steps and you just got a little simple setup at home maybe a couple of files a little saw um, this is going to make it easy if I just show you how I do it by hand. So we're just going to use little drill and then obviously another little drill to open the hole up a bit more and then you'll be able to run a little jump ring through this once it's obviously all cast uh, anyway let's get it done as you can see by this one we've got a hole at the top there so we want to do the same on this Now I'm going to open it up, I'm going to probably use a file and open it up like so, then I use the drill and open it up some more. Okay, so we've got a pretty decent hole there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take more weight off this so it's just going to look a little bit nicer. Okay, so we're about 99% complete. Just one little thing to do. And that is, we're gonna use some of this lighter fluid and we're just gonna wipe it down and uh, we'll check out how it looks after that. This will help clean off all the little fine dust. and give your wax a nice fine shine to it. Now that is ready to cast. Okay, so we have this ready to cast. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how this can be done all by hand without using any micro motors obviously if you've got one use it it's, you know, that makes it life a lot easier but i just thought i'd show you obviously instead of having a micro motor we can use drills we can just use uh sandpaper and oops and files so that's the little project that we've done today and if you guys want to know more just message me Obviously you're going to need some of this. So we're going to put uh, some links down below of where you can purchase um, some of these items if you are interested in doing wax carving. And 
that's about it for uh, now.